Hi, you guys. You're like, hey, where is Real Dance Nay? We don't see her. Who is this man? <laughs> well, of course, you guys, you know I'm silly, but I have in front of me a very important interview that I am conducting today. Very special, very humble, a pillar of the community located here in Rocky Mount, North Carolina, originally from Jamaica. And would you please like to introduce yourself? Hi, how are you doing? Uh, my name is Zabdiel Duar. I am 34 years old and I'm originally from Kingston, Jamaica. I'm the owner of the Chill Spot which is located at 119 North Washington Street in downtown Rocky Mount. Wow. So you're originally from Kingston, Jamaica? Born and raised. What prompted you to move to United States and when? Well, um, I have been traveling to the United States just to visit for years. Um, my wife and kids migrated here in... 2013 and um, you know I it was new to me it was different but I decided to make the best of it Wow so how long have you been in the restaurant business well the restaurant business now is I'd say about 13 years um, I had a restaurant in Jamaica. Well, it was more like a jerk center. I had a jerk center in Jamaica, a car wash, um, and a bar. Um, before that, I had another jerk center and a bar. So I've been in it for a while. And then me personally, I've been cooking from I'm maybe seven, eight years old. And wow, that is awesome. So the jerk center mm -hmm. and car wash in Jamaica... And did you decide to bring both of those businesses or just a restaurant? Just a restaurant. Um, you know, the whole concept of car wash is a bit different here. You know, you have a lot of automatic car washes here. It's not like that in Jamaica. Everybody does it hand wash. So, you know, I just decided to explore just the restaurant side of things. Oh, okay. That is awesome. Wow. And how long have you been in the Rocky Mount, North Carolina area? Rocky Mount is maybe what for me like four years. Four, four years? years? So when you came to Rocky Mount, North Carolina, did you decide, hey, this is where I want my restaurant or <laughs> actually no no. Um I was you know, I was looking all over. At the time when I came here, there were not many businesses downtown. Um you know, I was checking other areas for restaurants, um, you know, nice restaurant locations. Um, and then, you know, I, I kind of let go of the, the plan until one day, basically, the, it just fell into place. And, you know, I decided to go ahead with it. One of the reasons I came about to the chill spot is that there's not mo there, there was not much to do in Rocky Mount at the time. Um, so, you know, when I left to work, I didn't have anywhere to just go and relax. I'd go to the park sometimes, I'd go to the lake sometimes, but there wasn't a place to just get like a nice vibe that I'm accustomed to back home. That is very true. That is very true. And you definitely have brought Jamaica to Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Yes, it was definitely needed. And your popularity has significantly grown you are a very popular restaurant um, I even know some people that has traveled here from out of town from different states yes. just to eat to sample and to take back That's true. your food to their hometown because they can't get the authentic That's so true. we have um, persons you know well even this morning because we're closed on Mondays we had a lady who she came from Baltimore. You know, she heard about it. She came today. We've had persons from Myrtle Beach, um, Durham. We have a lot of customers from Raleigh. Um, we have persons from Virginia. 
Um, Roanoke Rapids, we have a whole lot of people from Roanoke Rapids. Uh, Virginia, we have from, we've had people from DC who they've heard so much about it. Whenever, get the, whenever they get the opportunity to come this side, they definitely have to stop. Um, we have we have so many, you know, every day you hear someone say, oh, it's my first time I heard about you on Facebook or Instagram, and we had to come, and you know, they might live an hour away, two hours away, three hours away. So, you know, we're really grateful for that, and that is why we ensure that we keep our consistency. We get a lot of our products, our seasoning from Jamaica. Um, it costs a bit more, but it helps us to be authentic. That is true. That is absolutely true. And of course, I've been a customer <laughs> several times. And thank you for allowing me no to do this interview. I am very humbly thankful for that. Um, and wow, it is a gorgeous place. And what made you decorate it as such that you have? Um, well, one of the things I wanted to do is to give the Jamaican vibe. Um, what I truly want is, if you were to go to Jamaica, when you go to a restaurant, it's going to be similar to the chill spot. The vibe is going to be similar. Um, the, the layout is going to be similar. The, everything is you're going to be like, yeah, this is exactly how I saw it. So we try to make it as homely as possible, you know. Um, you know, not everybody has a chance to travel. And then for the persons who do travel, you know, they'll, they'll remember, yeah, it was just like this in Jamaica. The food was just like this. The environment was just like this. The vibe was just like this. So that's what kind of inspired me to keep it authentic in our ways. That's for sure. And I have a tough little question. All right. And a lot of businesses, mm -hmm. and especially black businesses, were not able to stay afloat during this pandemic. Mm -hmm. So if you don't mind telling us, how did you stay afloat? Um, it, we, we put a lot of things together in terms of we... We're Jamaicans. We're resilient. That's the first thing. We assess, we modify, and we, we, we conform to situations. So if we realize that the tide is going a certain way, we know that we have to regroup, we have to redo our plans. You know, with COVID-19, one of the things we realize is that a lot of persons were home. A lot of persons were able to have more time for themselves so they would be able to cook. You know, one of the good things is what we sell, it's not something that everybody cooks every day. You know, it's not like a burger or a hot dog or, you know, the regular things. So we, we pushed a lot of our products as well. Um, the Jamaican bun, the Jamaican cheese. Um, we, we sold a lot of our products. So even if persons wanted to cook and try it at home, they had that option. Um, a lot of persons supported us during that period. We had, then we realized that when persons didn't want to come out, didn't want to go in, in crowds, you know, that's when I decided, all right, it's time to get the food truck. Um, went ahead, purchased the food truck. So we now went out to people, so they would still be outside, um, you know, but still getting that authentic food. Um, so, you know, we just, we, we, we change to the situation, whatever we need to do, um, you know, we just re regroup and get it done. And if you ask me, my opinion, my humble opinion, mm -hmm. you got even more popular yes. during yes. this yes. pandemic. Yes, that's true. <laughs> and, and that's wonderful. It's, it's like you overcame mm -hmm. basically the impossible. Mm -hmm. And that speaks tremendous volume as to your resilience. Yeah, man, Jamaicans, we're, 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 we're born to be resilient. Right, you know, yes. We're taught to be resilient, you know. We, we don't just sit down and die. We're going to fight. Wow, this is awesome. And one thing a lot of people don't know about you, and because I love information and I keep up, 
is that you actually do, one of the few, actually give back to the community. Yeah, we do. Um, you know, and one of the reasons we give back so much is I'm from, I'm from the worst of the worst. You know, I grew up really poor. I grew up extremely poor. I grew really, really, really poor. So I know what it is like to be hungry. I know what it's like to need something. I know what it is like to hear other kids have something and I don't. So now that we're in a position where we can help, you know, we do. So one of the ways we help is whatever food we do not sell, we take it to the homeless center and we give it to them. Um, it's not something we publicize because we don't believe that we should. You know, right, we're right. doing it from the, from, from the heart right. just to tell people you know, this is how we can help you exactly. um, so we help the homeless center you know, maybe at least four or five times a week we will take food for them um, you know and then you know, we try to give back to the community wherever we can you know families will come to us and they'll say um, they need help or persons will tell us about a family and we'll feed them um, but as I said these are not things we publicize because we're not doing it to get Commendation. We're doing it because we really want to help. That's you know, right. we, we know what it is to be going to your bed without food. So you know, any way we can help, we try to help. Um, you know, we we have we like to give things that people can have tomorrow. So like we just to say thanks, we have given away three um, smart televisions. What we'll be doing next year is we'll be giving away a trip for two to Jamaica. All expenses paid. Um, airfare is on us, um, hotel accommodation is on us, ground transportation is on us. So all the persons need to do is get themselves a passport. That's it. Um, wow. That's all we have said. Thank you to the community. And also, we want to show persons what Jamaica is like. We don't want anybody to tell them what it's like. We want to show them what it's like. Let them see it for themselves. There um, you go. Yes. So, you know, two lucky persons are going to get a chance to go to Jamaica, courtesy of the chill spot. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Now, that's almost unheard of, it's especially around here. But you have started something, a positive energy, and I recognize that. And I wanted to do this interview with you. Mm -hmm. Not just because you're the owner of a successful restaurant mm -hmm. and also your due diligence that you are doing as a community person yourself. You not only came from Jamaica, you brought Jamaica here. Yeah, <laughs> and you are participating in welcoming the community as well. Definitely. So, and to not be from here. A lot of people usually shy away from local, from intertwining with locals, per mm -hmm. se. Mm -hmm. And you're not doing that. Oh, this is home now, you know. Um, this is home, so, you know, you have to treat home, treat everybody like family. Exactly, exactly. Yes, I totally, 100% agree with you. And, wow, you are awesome. I, I have to commend you. You. And you are a example, a positive example for our black people because we definitely need that to have as many positive examples as possible. And I'm so grateful that you are, and as a man, mm -hmm. setting that example. And you should be proud of yourself. You really, really should. <laughs> I hope I didn't. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. It's the truth. And I love to keep it real. And I say things from the heart. I did not rehearse any of this. Okay. The questions that I have been asking you have been just from knowledge of keeping up with what's going on in my surroundings mm -hmm. and also in my community and i'm glad to have you in our community as Thank well you. i'm glad to hear that I'm i love that. that that is lovely and 
also, uh, you I think you mentioned something about your anniversary. Yes, yes. So our one year anniversary is going to be this Wednesday. Um, we are going to open our doors at 12 o'clock. From 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock, um, we'll be feeding as many people as we can. Um, come on out, tell your friends, tell everybody it's going to be on us. Um, then we're going to have sort of like a day party, evening party, um, from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Um, just like a nice vibe, just a person to come out, vibe with us, just chill, relax. Um, it's a chill spot, you know. Um, but you know, we're giving back to the community this, this Wednesday. You know, we do the back to school, um, we, we do back to school things, you know, we do things for the, the schools. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll purchase equipment for the schools. Uh, book bags, you know, every month we will donate to a different school. Um, yeah, so, you know, we try our best. We try our best to not just be in the community and take from the community, but we try to give back. Oh, yeah. We try yes. to give back to good causes. Oh, yes. That is just awesome. And your blessings are definitely coming yes. and it's showing that uh, because your numbers are definitely there. Yes. And uh, your popularity is there. And this is now on the brink of what they would call a famous restaurant. Uh, and wow. If you, you can even Google you. Mm -hmm. And your reviews are completely positive. And that's rare for mm -hmm. a restaurant. You rarely see that. Yeah, I think we're at 4.9 stars. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, very powerful. And I was like, wow, this is really happening. This is real. Mm -hmm. This is awesome, and I need to interview him so that people can see across the world how wonderful and humble that you are even as an owner, you know, because I, I have to say this, because I, I have to keep it real, there are owners of some restaurants where they're, I hate to use this word, but it's true, snobs. <laughs> well, you know, um, this is just me, every day, all day. Um, I was raised that we're all people, we're just... We're just people, you know. Um, I'm no better than anybody. Nobody's better than I am. We're just people. Um, respect everybody. It's just how I was raised. Um, I can't be anybody else. It's just me. You know, anybody who truly knows me knows this is me every single day. Wow, that is wonderful. I'm, I'm so humble right now. I, I'm, I'm, I feel enlightened. And I also feel as though this is the most unique situation where I could be in, and I appreciate it. And I want to thank you again and again and again for even agreeing to do this interview with me because I feel like this is such an honor. I really, truly do. Thanks for having me. Yes, you are very welcome. And thank you for sure because... You did have the choice to say, no, that's okay. I don't want to do the interview. But you didn't do that. And goodness gracious, you guys, we are at the chill spot. And if he allows me, I'm going to.